Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. be interested in. You can stop by any time. What are you up to now? Nice to see you, my young friend.
What do you have in store for me this time? Incendio! Accio! Scratch me. Someone's going to rig. I'll check your pockets after you're dead. <laughs> you're a slippery. Incendio! Oops. Real quick, let bring go. I plan to make. Oh, at least give it a bit of effort. Incendio! <laughs> Your coaching days are over. Let's get this over with. Now. I have things to do. Revelio.
shield. Rebellion. Source indeed, your field guide. Revelio. I'm most pleased to be included. Off on another adventure, are we? I swear, none of you'd have a head left on your shoulders if it didn't have to be. Incendium! And I'll gather and spell crop. Castle must have been quite stately in its time. What are you up to now? You're gonna regret coming here. Thank you. 
You wanted to speak with me. I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. Ugh, well, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow... Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me puff Skeen Dunkeen. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway... To make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Very well. If I'm in the area... Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. All of my siblings have finished at Hogwarts. Rebellio. Rebellio. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Incendio! This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Incendio!
Incendio! Send it. Imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendio! Trying to grow some apples for Dylan. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio! Repair all. Incendio. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Have you found anything to, uh, Prove my brave- Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puffskin Dunkin' for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. 
this will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff skiing dunking for me. to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady mind. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Still at it, I see.
Hogsmeade, here I come. I can't imagine how muggles get by without magic. the ministry banned underage sorcery Hello there. Can't trust the young. please uh, come in let me know if you need help finding anything if I haven't said it before it's a pleasure doing business with you I expect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? I was standing behind a tilt. Morgan Le Bay has an unearned reputation if you ask me. Revelio. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Accio. Expelliarmus.
Levioso! Levioso! Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Perhaps I shall scout around Fellcroft for something to poach. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the forbidden forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the birdbath, anything else I should look for? Revelia. Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Nothing to do now but keep going. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. Uh. 
Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Explode. I won't rest. We'll report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. I wonder how big this place is. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. If I could summon that platform to me, I could likely get on it. Another puzzle. Well, if Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. Sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Let me also. I 
shield. Untouched chest. Teradol wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Incendio. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me. Where could he be? Oh. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Akio! Sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Akio. <laughs> Incendio. I thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this one, but there's no sign of him.
untouched chest. Pterodor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Incendio. Revelio. skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? It's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be a bad jack.
Incendio. Potato. Stupid one. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Protego. Farewell, monster. I can only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jack Roo came this way. That's odd. I'd have thought Jack Dool would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. I need to look around for the symbol. Getting closer to Jack Daw's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jack Daw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jack Daw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? <laughs> What's happening?
I've seen this before. The Gringotts and the restricted section. Where am I? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? What are you up to now?
I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. What can I do for you today? Wise decision. Thank you. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. to see you again. Farewell for now. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Excellent. 
Revelio. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about.
Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio. Rebellion. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio! I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Lumos. Revelio.
Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio! Rebellion.
here. Incendio! I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school because the maybe have got these guns. What are you up to now? Akio! That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Revelio! resource indeed your field guide
Revelio. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gob. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. On another adventure, are we?
staff is so intimidating. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go for the walls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. Nice to see you, my young friend. Fall from their broom first. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clotten, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo. Not a fan, I take it? Now, 
Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The rooms <laughs> are school This property. is brilliant. I want them returned in <sighs> one piece. <sighs> I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quick? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. 
that's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're I... still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Hogsmeade, here I come. Rebellion. Rebellion.
What a lovely... Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching... I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Revelio. anything. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're Some about. in the fresh air would do wonders for you. Not too many. I prefer they not be allowed to attend. Couldn't agree more. Not to mention, it exposes us to death quickly. Levy also. <laughs> Rebellion. Thank you. 
Revelio. Duncan owes his reputation to you. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf. To in my classroom, your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Revelio. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Revelio. Goodness! My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <sighs> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some Lumos. Some are trying to rest. <laughs> R 
Revelio. Revelio. Accio. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Revelio. What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Revelio. Uh. 
Revelio.
Revelio. La vieja.
I hope that house elf can find us in here. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? 
While resources such as moonstone can be obtained throughout the highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Rebellion. Rebellion. I don't have anything for this at the moment. Rebellion.
whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. about transfiguration, if you have a moment. I have more to teach you about transfiguration, if you have a moment.
had more to teach you about transfiguration, if you have a moment. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may... You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Good work. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colours, patterns and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it.
nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room... space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. <laughs> <laughs> 